Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got another video for you today, but this one might be bringing some bad news. If you've been a longtime player or fan of the Strongest Battlegrounds, you'll probably know that the game has faced some issues in the past, specifically that it got banned at one point. So why exactly did it get banned back then? Well, to break it down, the Strongest Battlegrounds is heavily inspired by a super popular anime called One Punch Man. Now, for those who might not be familiar with One Punch Man, let me give you a quick rundown of what this anime is all about. Originally started as a webcomic in 2009 by a creator known as One, it quickly gained popularity due to its unique take on the superhero genre. The story follows Saitama, a hero who can defeat any enemy with just a single punch, hence the name One Punch Man. But despite his overwhelming strength, Saitama feels unfulfilled and bored because he can't find a worthy opponent. The series blends action, comedy, and satirical takes on superhero tropes. It became so popular that it got turned into an anime in 2015, which led to an even bigger surge in its fan base has a wide array of interesting characters including Gino's Go, the Cyborg, and Garu, the hero hunter who's obsessed with becoming stronger. So, with such a popular anime, you can imagine how big the fan base is and how protective the creators and publishers are of their intellectual property. That's where the strongest battlegrounds has ran into some trouble. The game took many ideas from One Punch Man, the characters, their moves, and almost everything in the game is heavily inspired by the anime. In fact, when the game was first released, it wasn't even called The Strongest Battlegrounds. It was actually named Saitama Battlegrounds, which, as you might guess, immediately caught the attention of the people behind One Punch Man. This caused major issues for the game. A couple of months after Ha Saitama Battlegrounds was released and started to gain popularity, it got ban. The ban happened for a few reasons. First of all, using the name Saitama in the title was a red flag. Saitama, of course, is the main character in One Punch Man, so the game was immediately associated with the anime. Secondly, there were many other copyrighted elements in the game, like character names, attack names, and even the visual designs. This led to the official team behind One Punch Man stepping in and hitting the game with copyright claims. As most of you probably know, anime studios and production companies are very protective of their IPs, and they don't take kindly to unlicensed games or content that directly uses elements from their anime. So to avoid the game being permanently shut down, the owner and developer of the game Santino had to make some big changes. The game was rebranded and renamed The Strongest Battlegrounds, dropping the obvious One Punch Man's references. Not only did the game title change, but the characters were also altered. For example, Saitama became Bald Hero and Garu was renamed Hero Hunter. These name changes allowed the game to continue without directly infringing on the One Punch Man brand, and it was able to survive, which was a huge relief to fans. It was a close call for the game, and players were just happy it didn't get permanently banned. You might be wondering why I'm bringing all of this up now, considering these events happened over a year ago. Well, unfortunately, it seems like the game might be facing some trouble again. Strongest Battlegrounds Discord server Santino recently posted a message that has some fans worried. Here's what he said. Some music tracks were taken down, including Serious punch Am attack music, Death Counter attack music, Destructive Cyborg, Awakening music, Deadly Ninja awakening music, Hero Hunter awakening music. Now, on the surface, this might not seem like a huge deal. Some music being taken down doesn't automatically mean the game is in danger, right? Well, here's the issue. These music tracks are likely being removed due to copyright claims. And it's very possible that these claims are coming from the team behind One Punch Man. 
If that's the case, then it means that white, the strongest battlegrounds, is once again on their radar, and that's not a good thing. While getting music taken down is one thing, if the people behind One Punch Man are paying attention to the game, there's always a chance they could decide to take further action. This could potentially lead to another ban for the strongest battlegrounds. We don't know for sure if that's going to happen, but it's definitely a possibility. And if it does happen, it would be a real blow to the community. A lot of people have invested time and energy into the game, and it's become a part of their daily routine. The thought of losing it again, even temporarily, is definitely concerning. But that's not all I wanted to talk about in this video. Before I wrap things up, let's quickly touch on some of the latest updates and leaks that have come out. If you watched my last video, you'll know I talked about some sneak peeks that Santino Bay shared with us. At the time, I wasn't entirely sure what the leaks were showing, but after going through the comments and hearing from you guys, it looks like some people are saying that one of the leaks could be a collateral run finisher for KJ. And that's not all. Apparently, the other leak might be pointing to the next character, which could be Child Emperor. This is exciting news for the game. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next, but at the same time, it's hard to ignore the looming threat of another ban. Hopefully, the game can stay out of trouble this time and continue to grow without any more interruptions. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe back to the channel. We are only 300 subs away from hitting 10,000, which is absolutely crazy. I can't thank you all enough for the support. As always, drop a comment below and let me know what you think about the current situation with Kosh, the strongest battlegrounds. Do you think it's going to get banned again, or will the game manage to avoid that fate? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.